Good morning, everybody. It's day three at the hospital. I'm still not going home. I'll be going home tomorrow, but um, I just want to show you guys a little bit of what's going on with my recovery, how I'm doing, and how baby girl's doing, and how these C sections can really mess you up. I have Suhaili right here with me. She's been very fuzzy. Um, and then room service just got here. So I have Suhaili right here. Isn't she gorgeous? Daddy's over there sleeping. <laughs> and then what I got for breakfast, I got some Fruit Loops with 2% milk and then I got a blueberry muffin for Ricky and then I got a cinnamon bowl for me right here I just have um, two pancakes with bacon and sausage and of course there's always that mess in the background I'm gonna try to eat some breakfast I've been walking around well not really walking around but I've been getting up to go to the bathroom by myself but yesterday I had the worst pain ever they took me off my IV fluid so I don't have anything but my IV on and pretty much yesterday I overdid it and was in like really bad pain last night where I had to get medicine through my IV then I can't go home and I really want to go home because this is like my fourth day here and um I'm just like tired and I want my bed and I just want to be comfortable already and I want to go see Leah we'll see how many times I have to call him till he wakes up babe Babe, babe, Ricky, babe, babe, babe. Like I said, it was a really long night. We didn't go to sleep till like 5 a.m. And it's 9 right now. So, God, it's so hard to get him up. The only person that like wakes him up is when the baby's crying. I really want to eat my food though. The nurse just came in. Uh, she gave me my medication. I'm taking iron pills, a stool softener, and I'm taking a uh, Motrin as well for the pain. I don't know you. Quiet, quiet. Do you want to say hi? You want to say hi? But yeah, I'm on those medications and I get the Norco every like six hours or so and the Motrin, um, it helps with uh, the cramping but the Norco is more for like your incision. I've been having different experiences with the nurses, like I have gotten some really bad nurses and then I've gotten like the really sweet, nice nurses, but I don't know, I feel like the older the nurses are, they pay more attention to you and they make you feel as comfortable as you as you can get. And then there's other nurses that are like younger in age and I feel like they just don't care. Um, I've gotten good nurses and I've gotten bad nurses. I'm not as happy as I was with Aliyah because this time around everything's just different like there's some rude ass nurses and then there's like the really sweet nurses so are you okay. Yes, I ordered breakfast Anywho so far she's been nursing and I have given her a formula But not as much. I'm like trying to stay away from formula, but there is times where she uh, does need it or I'm not feeling like really good and I have to uh, Supplement with formula, but she's doing really good right now. She like 
falls asleep on me, so she she just goes on my chest and she'll immediately knock out. I took a shower because Maritza was coming over and she has arrived. She was so scared to hold so Haley, but she's finally holding her. Guys, look how cute she is. Oh my god. She's usually like something. I'm like she's scared to like move her to another position because she's so small. Literally, she's been like that since like she started holding her. Yeah. <laughs> like, I want to like change her, but I'm like, okay, there we go. Aww. Getting ready for baby number two, Maritza. Yeah. Mm. Baby fever, like I've seen right now. Right? Yeah. Oh no. Not not till like after summer though. Yeah, gotta wait a little bit. But then baby number two, hopefully soon. She's having gas. I can like feel it. So Maritza just left. She was here for like five minutes because um, she had to go home to Oliver, and I'm now waiting on Ricky. He went out with his mom real quick. And I'm just chilling with um, Haley, and she's so calm. But I need to feed her because every time I have her by me, like she knocks out, like she goes to sleep and she won't wake up. So I have to try to feed her. So far, pain has been controlled. IV taken out. I'm like so happy that I'm going home tomorrow because I can be in my own bed and not just that, but um you feel more comfortable i'm super happy and excited i got up as you guys can see i sat on a chair i breastfed i am starting to move around and that is what we want we don't want to be laying down all day i just want to take the time to thank everybody that was there through my entire pregnancy and everybody that i met because of my pregnancy i want to say thank you for watching me and being there for me commenting always sweet stuff and I'm just so happy that she's here and so happy that you guys got to meet her. We'll try to make more videos for you guys. So comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see. I will definitely keep you guys updated with maybe weekly or monthly postpartum updates. I think I'm going to just leave this here and breastfeed her, get her settled down, maybe take a nap, and then I'll take a nap with her. 
because I am extremely tired, I'm exhausted. It's a lot of work having a C-section. It's a lot of work having a baby natural as is. But having a C-section, is it's a lot harder because you have to deal with a lot more pain, guts, like wanting to come out of your body. Not literally, but that's how you feel. But yeah, guys, I think I'm just going to rest and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.